What's going on guys? Johnny here, ECT, back with another video. I thought I'd uh, just make a video today on my EDC and some of the items that I take with me when I leave the house on a daily basis. So um, that being said, we'll get started. Um, today, and particularly, I had my, I took my Milwaukee knife. I had some work to do and I didn't want to use my regular knife. So I had my Milwaukee razor knife. Just a little pocket razor knife that uh, that I use. I had my Victoria Knox on me, like always. My little multi-tool. I had my Ontario Rat 2. Like always. And my Crescent, which is just uh, a sharp little tough little knife little workhorse cheap the steel is um 5 cr 15 mov which i'm um, you know it's not the greatest but it's a sharp it's a pretty sharp knife and it, it does what it has to do it does what i need it to do so um that uh like always i have my fisher bullet space pen i had my phoenix e12 on me today And I also had my Olight i5T EOS in the OD green. I, I do have other lights, guys, but I just like carrying these. They're compact, they're bright, they're workhorses, they're good. I don't need to uh I don't need to switch it up. When I have when I find a nice combination of stuff that I like that works. I usually stick with it. I don't, you know, switch up my knives every day. I don't, you know, switch up my lights every day. If something works and it's good, then I usually stick with that for a while. Um, when I get tired of it, you know, maybe I'll switch it up. But, you know, for now it works good. I like it. I'm comfortable with it. I'm used to it. So that's why uh, you'll see me a lot of the times. It's it's the same stuff. Um, my wallet, which is the Trevando, the RFID I, with the Ranger band on it. Um, found it on Amazon. Cheap things held up it's been with me for a while and uh just a good solid wallet leather wallet so look into that if you like i also had um i keep this little clip on me you could put cards in here money made by gerba it's just like a little money clip or a card clip and it also holds a little knife on it so there you go. Nothing crazy, but if you need it to get, you know, it's something. It's it's better than nothing. It's uh it's redundancy. So that's my EDC. Oh, also I keep a little neck gator on me. This is more for work, but if I would, you know, if I stepped out of my car, forgot my mask or something, I could use this. Just a little high vis neck gator. I keep in my back pocket. It seems like a lot of stuff, but it's really not, guys. It goes in my pocket. It's nice. It's I don't even half the time I don't even realize I'm carrying this. I'm carrying all this stuff on me. Um, I also usually I'll throw like a little Bic lighter in my pocket, but not every day. You know, I'll just keep like a little mini Bic. Just you know, you never know. You never know. Um, it's good to just have cover all the bases and make sure that you cover all the bases just in case something were to happen you find yourself in a situation you know and who knows so um that's it for the edc uh as far as what i take with me out to my truck besides what i carry in my truck you know i got you know i got items in my truck i got first aid i got more i got lights i got my umbrella i keep in the truck i keep you know um uh, first aid, lights, uh, hand sanitizer, wipes, um, another stick of deodorant, some mouthwash, just for hygiene purposes, morale, you know, if I was stuck and just, you know, or if I'm going in to meet with somebody, talk with somebody and, you know, I got coffee breath or something like that, at least I could do a little, uh, rinse and, um, won't be too embarrassing. Um, 
besides all of that, what I carry in my truck and my EDC, I also take with me this DeWalt power supply. Um, it's got jumper cables. It's got, you could, you could put air in your tires. It's got lights on the back. It's got USB ports. So if you could charge your phone if you wanted to. It's a little big, it's a little heavy, but for peace of mind, especially if you're gonna go on a long road trip, guys, or you're gonna go somewhere, even just going to work, you know? I mean, you never know, something could happen. You get a flat tire. You know, I keep fix a flat in my truck. I keep a tire repair kit in my truck. I keep, um, you know, what else do I got? I got tools in my truck. You, ne you never know. You never know what will happen on a day-to-day -day basis. So if I never use it, if I use it one time, it, it paid for itself. It was worth it. You know, if I help somebody out, I see somebody stuck on the side of the road, I could help them out. It's worth it. You know, it's so it's just, it's just, it doesn't take up a lot of space. You stick it, I stick it in my truck. I don't even know it's there half the time. And um, I got peace of mind. You know, not that I need it. My truck, you know, I have a fairly new truck. So I shouldn't, you know, I shouldn't run into any issues. But you never know. Anybody could get a flat tire. It doesn't matter if you got a new truck or not, a new car or not. So, you know, I, I could use my fix a flat, my tire repair kit. I could put air in my tire. I wouldn't have to walk to a gas station or call AAA or call a tow truck anything like that so you know it's it's something to look into it wasn't that much money it's uh it's a good brand name made by dewalt and you know something something to consider something something to think about guys besides that i take my bag with me every day is my solid ninja day pack filled with a whole bunch of goodies i'm not going to go through every item in here now and bore you guys but uh i got first aid i got fire I got food, I got um, uh, water purification, I got, you know, tourniquet in here, compression bandages, uh, a whole bunch of stuff in here, guys. You know, paracord, all, all kinds of goodies in here. But uh, this comes with me every day when I leave the house. No matter where I'm going, what I'm doing, this, this, this comes with me along with the power supply and my EDC. Besides what I carry in my truck, you know, which stays in my truck every day, you know, so it's just good. You gotta think of like, anything can happen at any time. You know, you gotta just wonder, you know, is today gonna be the day? Is today gonna be the day I get a flat? Is today gonna be the day my battery dies? Is, you know, today gonna be the day that, you know, something goes wrong and that'll be the one day that you don't take stuff with you and you're stuck. Now you're at the mercy of a tow truck or AAA or waiting for a friend or family member to come and help you out when you could have been self-reliant and you know got done a lot quicker, faster, back on the road and you know home safe and sound. So just think about it guys, it's, you know if you don't have stuff like this, if maybe if you don't have a power supply, you don't have to have this particular one you know, there's other ones out there. They have smaller ones. I think there's a, a little one that's about this big. I forget the name of it. Um, damn, I can't think of the name. But I, it's like this big. But it could supposedly can jump a jump a V8 engine. It could get a V8 engine going. So you can get a V6, a four cylinder. You can get anything like that going. And it's about this big. You could probably fit it in your in your glove box. Just uh, something to think about. Something to look into. So. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, like it. Think about subscribing. I know I'm just getting started here. I don't have a whole lot, but hopefully that'll change and um, and the content will get better. I know this isn't the best uh, video. It's not the best surroundings. I know people do a lot better than this, but um, like I said, we're just starting out and it'll get better as time goes on. So I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys liking it. Um, remember, stay safe, be prepared, think about, you know, all possible scenarios that could possibly happen and, you know, just stay safe guys. All right. Thanks. Till next time.